we're over New York. Mm -hmm. That's again. New York City. Oh, where? Uh, there, through the fog. I can just see it now. Ticker tape, keys to the city, beautiful women. Maybe I better look out your side. Well, the only palm trees down there. Shh, you'll destroy the mood. I'm gonna set her down now, right in the middle of Times Square. the mayor. What'd we do to rate all this, huh? We broke all existing speed records between California and New York. Of course, you slept through the whole glorious adventure. Yeah, well, I may have slept, but you're doing the dreaming. Fifty, seventy-five, seventy-six. Thank you. How do you do, Admiral? <laughs> you see, even the Navy's here to greet us. Why, Helen, how thoughtful. A present. Oh, no. It'll cost you 76 cents to open that. Why? It's what I had to pay the mailman. Postage due. Well, pay the young lady, Chuck. Well, is California money any good here in New York? Seventy-five, seventy-six. Seven orchids, all crushed, dead. How lovely. Look at this, half of a $50 bill. $50 bill, nothing. Look at that extra zero. This is one half of a $500 bill. What are you looking for, Dad? The other half of this $500 bill? No, the return address. And what we have to do to get the other half. Here it is, from Mrs. Phyllis Bowling, Bowling Farm, 653 Leona Lane, Linton. Linton. We flew over there just about four days ago. How do you spell bowling? B-O-L-L-I-N-G. Why? One little phone call. It's liable to answer all of our questions. Bowling, bowling. Bowling Farms, Leona Lane. May I have 4721 in Linton, please? I beg your pardon? Uh, just a moment. The operator said the number's been disconnected. Operator, can you tell me for how long? Oh, thank you. Sorry, we're not allowed to give out that information. So now what? Hmm. Afraid we're gonna need the orchids, Helen. Can I keep just one? Sorry. Let's go find out about the other half of the $500 bill. I guess it's the only way. See you later, Helen. Coming into Linton now. Yeah. Leona Lane should be right in here.
place is that right under us there? A greenhouse, why? Notice the roof. So there's a hole in it. Well, I was just thinking of orchids are growing in there, and our wrench fell through accidentally. Dan, you've got me. Let's take a peek. is deserted. Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, they'd have heard us land. Hello! What's wrong with her? I asked you before what you're doing in these grounds. Well, excuse me, sir, shouldn't you worry about her first? I'll phone the doctor, but I still want an answer to my question. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, we made a forced landing. We've got a clogged fuel line. We better fix it now. Come on. Thank you. Secondly, he was going to phone for the doctor. So? Don't you remember? The phone's been disconnected. Big puzzle growing up around here. We're going to have to find a way to unscramble it. It's a very 
interesting story, fellas, but what's been done that's against the law? Well, I don't know exactly, but there certainly seems to be plenty wrong. Can you get in touch with Bowling? Maybe he can straighten this out. Bowling's townhouse is about 40 miles away. Besides, Bowling's in Europe. Closed Bowling's farm, left Ben Wilgus in charge. Can't understand Ben's act in the way you said. He's such a gentle little old man. Little old man? The fellow we saw was six feet tall, very distinguished looking, and dressed like a million bucks. That's not a description of Ben Wilgus. Sounds more like Bowling himself. Do you know Bowling? I've seen him. You have room for one more in that helicopter? Sure. Let's go. Seems to be empty. Hi, Sheriff. Looking for someone? As a matter of fact, Ben, I was looking for you. Oh, well, <laughs> here I am. These two men were here an hour ago, and they took a mighty sick young lady into the house. Here? Yeah? That's right. Don't sound proper. Been nobody but me here since Mr. Bowling closed the place and took off for Europe. What? I carried her into the house myself. I put her down on a... Big red couch. You mind if we take a look inside? As the fellow on television says, be my guest. This appears to be it. Make yourself a home. Oh, same television fellow. You know, I think them fellas are sort of loony. Well, where's the red couch? I can't understand this. Would you like to walk through the rest of the house? It wouldn't do any good. Thanks very much, Ben. Sorry to have disturbed you. Oh, shucks, any time. It's good to have come in for a change. Sheriff, I think we can prove our point down at the greenhouse. Any objections, Ben? Be my guest. Oh, I said that already, didn't I? <laughs> The organ plant's right back here. Some organ. Well, don't forget the hole in the roof. When you guys are through, I'll be back here. Well, now, wait a minute. I know this is one thing I didn't dream. Yeah, me too. The girl was lying back here. Things don't seem to be going very well. Yeah. How about had it?
I guess this solved the whole puzzle. And our friend the sheriff was right all along. All she wanted to do was learn to fly. $500 buys an awful lot of flying lessons. Only one thing, we don't run a flying school. At these prices, we should start one. I think you better hold on to the loop, Dad. Money turns my head. What was that? What? Something in the engine. There it is again. You must have heard it. No. How high are we? 1,500. We have room for a drop. Put her in auto rotation. Quiet enough for you? Yeah. I still don't hear anything. I'm sure I heard something loose back there. Okay, we'll schedule an immediate checkup. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't miss that. That's funny. It never happened before. Yeah, we better land. Right. What are you doing in there? Oh, please, let's don't waste time. Take me to the farm. The farm? What's there? My father, he's in trouble. Your father? We just saw him. He wasn't in any trouble. That wasn't my father. He's my uncle, my father's half-brother. Please, can't we talk on the way? They're going to kill my father the way they tried to kill me. Please, let's go. All right, come on, let's go. Why does your uncle hate your father and you? It's nothing as emotional as hate. It's a simple and cold-blooded way to get our money. You're certain your father's at the farms? Yes. We were both taken there together. Maybe the sheriff will believe you at any rate. This is Helicopter 3 Providence Linton Radio. Helicopter 3 Providence Linton Radio, come in, please. This is not radio. Go ahead, Helicopter 3 Bravo. This is urgent. Contact the Linton Sheriff and tell him that Miss Phyllis Bowling says her father is at Bowling Farm. His life is in extreme danger. Tell the Sheriff we'll meet him at the farm. Again, this is urgent. Out. This is Miss Bowling. Yes, and I've seen you with your father. We must find him quickly. I've searched the house from top to bottom. There wasn't a sign of him. Well, did you see Ben? Ben wasn't here either. Well, did you look in the little house in the back? That's where he lives. I better try it. He must be somewhere else. What's that? Do you got a key? No, break the door down. If he's cooking, he can't be far away. You people stay together. I'm going to find Ben. I think we might look. I don't know. I, I don't. The greenhouse. Father. Father. Phyllis. Is there someplace else you might be? I don't know. I don't know. Father. The 
We can't stay. Willis. Someone's calling. Pick up a William Bowling and a Martha Conover at 63 Salomar Avenue. They're wanted for attempted murder. 